Hi everyone, my name is Lauren and welcome to a new episode of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. You're probably wondering where the hell we are. Um, I decided to do one of um, the first quests that we got, which is a side quest I think. It's called the Seer's Solace um, and we're currently trying to find someone in the mountains. Um, I might as well grab this high point as well while we're at it. Okay, so we have to get up there to synchronize a high point and see the rest of the world really. I love that we can see the Northern Lights, it's so nice. Uh, are our rations full? Now they are. Yay! Um, I have to admit, during my first episode, I felt like I was really underperforming. I felt really clumsy playing the first game. I think it was just because I really had to get used to the new play style because the game is very different from any other Assassin's Creed game and also I've been playing Ghost of Tsushima a lot um, which obviously has just different controls <laughs> so I just felt really clumsy but I feel like today I have a bit more hope and I'm ready to keep going and explore the game more because it does look amazing and I really want to keep going. I actually quite like the fact that it's more of an RPG style game in a way climb up here so I hope the road is gonna jump down the mountain <laughs> but she's not it's all good we're almost there oh my god the northern lights guys I think I'm seeing the northern lights is one of the highest points on my bucket list not gonna lie how has your day been how have you been choosing lockdown if you went into lockdown are you okay do you need more content to keep you sane <laughs> just let me know nice Beautiful. Um, right, let's um, let's head to our quest. It shouldn't be too far away now. I should have got these these bad boys. So Ivan is asleep on his watch. That would explain some things. Is he asleep? Ivan, wake up! Hurry! Or you'll be cast into the wild. Took stuff from your bag. <laughs> Hi, dude. Must stay awake. They could be anywhere. You can't wake a sleepwalker. Is he walking in his sleep? Should we follow him? They are everywhere. If we die, everyone dies. Is he talking about the other clan? What's down there? Must not fall asleep. Need to see them coming. Ivan, wake up! You're headed for the edge! Oh, you can't wake a sleepwalker though. Is he okay? Is he going Should we to stop him? The rope slide? Is he? Wimpy. Uh, I don't think this is. Oh, he is! Should we go after him? I guess. I guess so! <laughs> Imagine waking up in the middle of one of those, just being like, what is Ivan, going on? <laughs> Ivan, calm down. You are asleep. No! I, I was flying through the air! In your sleep. A harsh awakening, true. But at least you live. Have you always taken these dream walks? Since my posting here. When I am in bed, I worry about ways we could be attacked. When I'm on watch, I cannot stay awake. Only a fool stays awake all night worrying. You're tired when you get up and the problem is still not solved. You speak with the wisdom of Odin, Eivor. I will think on these words when I am in bed. Consider them on your watch, and sleep when in your bed. But now, report back before you're labeled a deserter. Go! Silly man. A world of incompleted. Yes. Have you guys bought Valhalla yet? What are your opinions on it? I'd love to hear it so far. I haven't played enough yet to decide, obviously. I need to explore more. I have to say the prologue was really, really good. I really enjoyed the prologue. Volkas Hut. It's 
going. And there's a lot of blood on this. What brings to Valka? Two chickens? Sounds a bit gruesome. <laughs> but you know, they do their offerings for their religion. Cutscene time! Hamuram. Hamuram. Valka? Hush! I need silence to hear the songs of nature. Hamuram. Hamuram. Svala. She gives praises and she is greeted. For your hearing, I hearken. O oh, ancient ones, great Odin, great Freya, I give you thanks for your gift of Seder. She gives thanks and she is blessed. Is she a medium? It has been some time. What brings you so far to see me? I... Uh, I have come for your advice. On a private matter. Come. Ooh. Is your mother well? Her mind is a jumble. She speaks to spirits. I fear her final winter has come. But she has me. Now, let her speak to your needs. I... I have had a vision. A powerful vision. It may have been my battle lust or a delirium caused by the cold, but... Describe it for me. After 17 years, I saw my father's axe again. And when I touched it, the vision came on fast. There was a wolf, howling and fierce. And then a figure. A greybeard in a cloak. With a single eye. He bid me follow him. Ah, the High One. He calls to you. Perhaps he means to speak with you. Deliver a message. Only through Seder will you see more clearly and unravel the threats that sit tangled upon your mind. This will not take long. What are you brewing? An elixir to loosen your hur and unwind your thoughts. You will enter a waking sleep and journey to the world of dreams. It may confuse or disorient you, but you must take note of all you see. Okay, is that a hint to Drink. us that we really have to pay attention? <laughs> okay, here we go. If you seek true understanding, Are there shrooms in there? Oh god. Haha, <laughs> lol, secretly poisoned you. <laughs> Let's hope that didn't actually happen. <laughs> it's very bright. Hmm? Who did figure again? I saw nothing, Volka. Felt nothing. Harvey! Harvey. Harvey! Oh, he went this way, didn't he? The dead. Where did he go? Sigurd. Oh, there. Oh, he's with Sigurd. the wolf. Brother, when did you arrive? Oh, what's this wolf doing? They live together. We can see more clearly. What is oh. this? I guess we're still following him. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hello? Can I ask you some questions, sir? Can you stop running away from me, please? Oh, he's turned into a wolf. Are we... Is this on the verge of Valhalla? 
Valhalla was kind of like the Hall of Warriors, is what I would say. Um, in Osg near Asgard, I guess. Ah! Which you probably know from the Marvel she films. Brother! What is this? There was no other way, Javi. Our fates are fixed. Take it! He loses. He lost his. He lost his arm. So, why did he cut off his arm? <laughs> Take it! What is? What has happened? This was not for you, Javi. Yikes. Okay, I'm done dreaming now. Let's go back. <laughs> Wolves are actually my favorite animals. Um, although I would not want to encounter some in the wild. Steady, Eivor. It is Valka. I am here. God, I thought I... What was that? Tell me everything. I... I was on a mountain, in a violent blizzard, climbing toward the summit, following a wolf. Mm -hmm. I guess that's Odin's Hall? I saw the gates to Odin's Hall of slain champions. They opened for me. Shades of Valhalla. For which you are destined. And the wolf was eager for my attention, as if it were beckoning me to follow. You are the wolfkist, fated to carry its mark for life. In this case, it might represent your ambition or your fear. Odin and the Nor Nornir? I saw so Odin. And the Nornir, spinning the threats of fate. They were watching me. Mm, not watching. They were showing you the way forward. Your life, your path, what lies before you, and where it ends. I do not know what else to say. My memories are faint, hazy. Did you reach the summit of this mountain? I did, yes. Sigurd was there, wounded, in pain. His fighting arm was missing. Then the wolf reappeared, the size of a dragon, twisted and terrible. It fixed its eyes on me and struck. Then I woke. The gods favor you, Eivor. They always have. You will have your glory, and you will earn your place in Valhalla. But these portents carry a darker truth. The missing arm, the trail of blood, the beast. You will betray your brother, Sigurd. That is the meaning of your vision. That cannot be right. I would never betray Sigurd. He's my brother, my family. The Nordnir have spoken, and this is their message. No, this is wrong, or you misunderstand. That cannot be right. You will betray Sigurd. Odin fought against his fate. It can be done. I don't know. I feel like fate might force us. But we can try our best. I don't think we should ruin things for ourselves. Just to, you know, try and save him. Right, um, let's have a quick look at the skill tree again um, and see what we want to upgrade. I might upgrade this one, Way of the Raven. Bloop, bloop. Um, and I have some more melee damage. That's pretty good as well. Oh, this one, that one has some health, so I might add some health as well. 
Um, I reckon we can go back now and see if we can talk to the king finally. It's been taking ages. Scusi. Thank you. Alright, is he ready now? Because I'm ready to talk to him. Been trying for ages. They must be finished now. The king has called for his best mead, so the talks are concluded. It should be safe to enter. Finally! I'm Let's ready go see him. to face the thunder. I'll speak with the king now. Bye! Excellent. And hello! I will take this proposal to my nephew. I believe he will see the wisdom in it. Good. It is all I can hope for. May the... Oh. Hello. How are you doing, sir? May the winds favor your voyage, Guthormer. Oh, God. You know you're in trouble when there's a, a long pause. Eivor, come forward and explain in plain words why you have willfully disobeyed my commands. Do you mock me? I do not mock you, King. I mean to embolden you against your enemies and your own poor judgment. <laughs> you know nothing of my judgment. You know nothing of my plans and strategies. Sigurd would agree with me. My son might agree with you, but he would obey me. He knows his place. Not as well as he knows his father. Imagine you are harassed by an enemy with warriors that vastly outnumber your own. What profit does open war bring? Would it not be better to work quietly through diplomacy, gaining alliances? I agree with waiting him. Waiting until the day our numbers outweigh our enemies and our victory is guaranteed. I mean, I kind of get that, but also it's a lot smarter to have do allies. Do we have any allies to speak of? Or is that your excuse to do nothing? Jeez. Your confidence blinds you to so much in plain sight, Eivor. Day and night I toil to forge ties with clans to the north. Very soon you will see the fruits of my efforts. Only then will you understand. Is that all? I'm at a loss with you, Eivor. When I took you in as my own, never did I imagine such disrespect from the child of Varin. Your father was a fine man. Just and loyal to me, he died bravely so that we might live. He died a coward, Lord. A fate I will not mirror. Why do you carry he such a useless burden? Let it go! Think only of the days to come, of your future and the victories at hand. My honor has been stained. Until it's wiped clean, I want nothing else. I refuse to pick at that wound again. But if there is something that can chase these shadows from your thoughts... Oh? Sigurd has come! Down at the docks, his ship is here! I don't get how she thinks that her dad... died a coward, really. He literally gave his own life to spare his own clan. I think that's one of the bravest things he can do. Not a lot of people would do that. Hey, hey, careful with that one. Their tattoos are awesome. Avon! Secret! <laughs> oh, look at you, blood soaked drinker. Oh, have you been worrying without me? Ah, oh, and you. Salkjord Vikinger. <laughs> I smell the stink of a dozen kingdoms in your beard. <laughs> <laughs> I bet that's a compliment Brandy, to them as well. My dear wife, your husband returns. Bringing gifts and riches to share. And new friends, I see. Yes. Basim and Hytham. We met in Miklagat, and they showed me her buried secrets. We are grateful to Sigurd for his invitation and eager to pay tribute to your king. My brother is always I don't very careful them. with the company he keeps. If you're standing safely beside him, he must like you. Ah, Eivor. Save the introductions until our bellies are full. I will see my father. 
tell him of my time away. I don't trust them. They're onto something. This morning we traded with a ship passing south. They told us Eivor the Wolf Kist was captured by Kyotve's men. They must have cut the tail short. I killed my captors and recovered my crew. For that your father scolded me. You know where I stand, brother. Nothing short of war will dislodge Kyotve from our lands. But he disagrees. I know. I know. Father thinks too much and acts too little. Today that changes. I promise you. By the winter's end, the name Kurt with the Cruel will be a curse on the lips of a drunken fool. My son! Welcome home! Uh, father! Tonight we feast and celebrate your return, Sigurd. The tables are laid with barley and lamb, bread and mead. And no more, I beg you. I want nothing you would not serve a thrall. Let me be the one to honor you. I That's bring nice gifts and tales from faraway lands. After two winters away, I am full up with both. Very well, very well. Come inside. And when two we have winters, to wow. Father, we will talk of Kyotve and his clan, and how we may end their terror once and for all. He has dogged us too long. Shamed us for too many seasons. I know this. Eivor knows this. It ends now. Yes, of course, when the time is right. Well, at least we have Sigurd on our side. I do think that we should do the ally thing, which I know is going to be a thing in this game, which is very exciting. It's a lot more political and strategy like. River, raiding as we went, shadowy tribes hurling spears at our ship. At Miklagard, we saw men bedecked in riches as vibrant as the Biverest itself. And these we took for our troubles, of course. We sailed to Rome, then Africa, past oceans of sand, warriors of all colors, and beauty the eyes must weep to behold. And now I have returned, with riches and glory to share with my family, my friends, my eyes for Strengir. So take what you desire from my horn. For this, this is only a taste of things to come. Tomorrow, the Raven Clan starts anew. Skull, Sigurd. Skull! And you, Eva, come. I have something special for you. Are oh, those enemies down there? Did I accidentally spot some enemies that we might encounter? Let's quickly talk to these guys. Randy. Eivor! Have you paid a visit to Volka? I did. And? It is not something I can speak on. Or wish to. I understand. Your bed will be warm tonight with your husband returned. That must be a good feeling. It is a different feeling. Warmer, but with less space to stretch my arms and legs. <laughs> Are you not happy to see your husband return? I get return? that. Of course. But it has been so long he seems a stranger to me. Three winters we are married and he has been away for two. Can you not rekindle the flame oh, wow. that once burned hot? <laughs> when he crawls into bed to warm me, as you say, it will be with farts and honeyed breath. Ah, we should all Romantic. be so lucky. <laughs> wow. Love it. Romance is in Dede. Eh? Hello. Sigurd has raised the reputation of this clan to new heights, Lord. We could not have asked for a more joyous return. No, oh, but we could have. Had Sigurd spent his last two winters here, in Fornberg, defending our lands, we might have been rid of Kjotve by now. You always said we needed more warriors to fight Kjotve. And for warriors, we need wealth, which Sigurd has brought us. The wealth he brings will not buy us an army. It only buys us time before our end. You talk like a man with one foot in Helheim. Have you no plan of your own to rid this land of our enemy? Will it fall to Sigurd and me? I do, but it will fall to you and Sigurd to accept it. And I must have your word that you will. If you so order it, my king, it will be done. You have my axe until the end. Hmm. We shall see. We won't betray you. Despite what Valka said, I'm not planning on betraying anyone. So, you're one of the friends, aren't you? Yes, and 
You are a for it. I am. I hope this ruckus does not overwhelm you. We tend to drink and talk at equal speed. Not at all. The wood Did smoke from your fire pit does sting the eyes. <laughs> but the warmth is welcome. Of course. It must be rather warm where you live. Where I live changes from week to week. But always I am with my mentor, Basim. Your mentor? For what cause? A noble one. A cause as true as the world is old. But let us leave it at that for now. I understand. But if you hope to stay tight-lipped for the rest of the night, keep clear of Tekla's meat. <laughs> ah, thank you for the warning. It will not be a problem. I really don't trust them. Is this his friend? Yeah. I don't have a chat with him. See what he's all about. And you have no mead. Can I fix that? Sigurd spoke often of you on our journey. He called you his right arm. A celebrated warrior. I am honored to meet you. Likewise, Basim. And how did you come to meet my brother? He sat down in Constantinople some months ago to rest and resupply, he told me. But I knew otherwise. Men with eyes that gleam like his are always up to something more. I think he wished to raid the Hajj of Sophia. That sounds right. <laughs> I will not bore you with the details of her meeting. But I liked your brother from the first. I saw something in him that captivated me. As if a forgotten memory of an old friendship had suddenly resurfaced. He has that effect on people. Enjoy your evening, Basim. But what are you doing here? Maybe they're actually friendly. Maybe I'm just being too suspicious. I thought long and hard on a gift worthy of you. You have snared my curiosity, brother. What is it? Not yet. Drinks first. Sounds about right. To my first night in Thornburg in over two winters. It must end with me soaked and wall-eyed, shouting at the shadows of trolls. And you want me to sail with you on these honey waves? Yes. You are stuck with me, Dringur. Now drink. All right, go on. Oh, I wish we were gonna do another competition. <laughs> oh, you would put Thor to shame. <laughs> Forgive should have gone easy on you. Your first day back, I should have let you win. <laughs> Gods, you should have let me start. <laughs> it is good to have you back, Sigurd. It's nice. I've missed this terribly. When I first met Basim, I regaled him with tales of our homeland. And it was then I felt a hard longing to return at once. And here you are. <laughs> Come. They look like assassins, don't they? Gift. These excellent oh, no. men were my shepherds through much of their homeland, the oh, Abbasid no. Caliphate. They are a clan, not joined by blood, but by a common idea. A brotherhood of shadows executing their own form of justice. In my time with them, they shared many of their most hidden secrets, for which I am grateful. And now... I gift one of these secrets to you. Weapon for the finest warrior I know. They are assassins. For a second I thought he was gonna offer him... Offer up marriage. Why does he look offended? Beautiful craftsmanship. What kind of smith makes a weapon like this? It is less a weapon than a tool. One we have used for centuries to fight injustice and evil. Mentor, I must protest. This is deeply unorthodox. Our wrist blade is a sacred tool. Do not tool. make a fetish out of cold metal, Haifa. <laughs> what matters is the mind of the one who wields it. Please, try it on. I'm sure we will handle it the, blade the way it's supposed the to be handled. To conceal it from your target. I have no wish to hide this. And I would rather not make the same mistake you two have. I like it. 
This is no mistake. This is a voluntary sacrifice to prove our devotion to... A good start, Eivor. But you must learn how to use it effectively. Outside. This is not something for all eyes. <laughs> Are they gonna make us kill someone? He's gonna make me kill, like... A random person. This clan of yours, it has a name. Indeed. But among the tenants of our creed is a vow to never reveal too much to outsiders. In time, you may learn more, but not here, where the walls and trees may have ears. I look forward to it. Okay. Oh, okay. Phew. Here, let me lead you Jeez. through our most basic techniques. Wielded with skill and care, a blade delivers a singular killing blow. As you near your target, find your window to strike. Excellent! I have not seen a blade so sharp. Some targets are trickier than others. Keep that in mind before you strike. Okay. A decent attempt. Exactly, just like that. How about a challenge? Leap down upon that target from above. Hey, I love the assassination part. This is what I love doing in Ghost of Use Tsushima your surroundings as well. when possible. Strike from that haystack, for instance. This is a good tutorial. I mean, I have done this before, but a perfect strike. it's good. Mentor, does anyone intend to join us? Not that I am aware. Then why offer her the blade? Surely we have more. Python. Hush. You wield the blade well. Let us leave Eivor to enjoy her gift in peace. Come. Eivor. Let us walk to the docks and take in the night air. Right, let's go talk to Sigurd. What do you make of my new friends? They seem generous and menacing in equal measure. I know what you mean. They have learning, too. They wield numbers and writing as if it were magic. Basim has shown me so much about the world, all of which I will share with you when the time is right. Okay. <laughs> oh, I miss the smell of. I don't know why I feel so suspicious of like. Have these you returned guys. for good, or do you mean to join this Shadow Brotherhood? Leave all that aside, Ivor. Tonight we are family again. The here and now is what matters. Our kinship, our clan, our glory. I missed you, brother. Your clear head and your courage. We have not had enough of both in recent months. <laughs> you flatter me, Wolfkist. Keep it up. From here to Valhalla, I will, will always be at your side, Sigurd. Always. This fjord has grown too small to contain me, or I too large. There is so much more beyond these stony fangs that rise around us. England, Ireland, Francia, all greener pastures, ripe for the plucking. <laughs> Tomorrow, mm. we make new war on Kyrtve, and reclaim the lands he took from us. And from there, we build a kingdom for us. I'm with you. Only say the word. Good. Get some rest, and return here at first light. The Prodigal Prince. I hope he gets to do the other quests as well around the island. Maybe that's why he said first thing in the morning. The Nordnir have spoken. You will betray Sigurd. No, this is wrong. That cannot be right. Ah! Odin fought against his fate. It can be done. Ah! You will betray Sigurd. It's one of those guys, isn't it? Shit. There's something going on. Shot base warriors. Wait, why are they here? Why is this kid outside? Go back inside. Let's 
got um This one would not have come alone. I should find the others. Hey. Right, got one guy. Odin's sight highlights nearby enemies. Is that all of them? Let's see what this says. Kjotfer's instructions. Tell me what you see and how many. Ships, warrior supplies. Also note visits from Jarls and other important people. Learn what you can and report back to me directly. Hmm. Let's go back. Talk to him. It's a bit suspicious that as soon as those two guys turn up... I'm sorry, I'm still suspicious of them. So Sigurd, here is a funny surprise. With each day we wait, Kurtve grows stronger. Oh, he's still trying to convince his dad. <laughs> We do not have the men to storm Kjotve's fortress. The losses would ruin us. The losses have ruined us, father. Until we cut off this serpent's head, it will poison us day by day, drop by drop. The poison has already polluted our waters. God's <laughs> Covered evil. in blood. What happened? <laughs> Spies in our camp. Three men sent by Kjotve to kill us as we slept. I returned the favor. There, you see? This is what waiting brings. We must answer this insult. They came from Notfall, that wailing village under Kjotve's control. We hid him there. Burn it down before Kjotve learns his spies are dead. He may have sent more. I can search the village while you round up the crew. No need. I will send Hytham to search the area. You can rely on him while we are away. We? Do you mean to join us? I have not been bred for Valhalla like you, but this will be far from my first battle. I do not like this, but I will not stop you. I do think our father has, or father. Do not has a good lead point. my son into the same storm that follows you. Right. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's sail out. Let's go. Let's go. All right, guys. Let's do this. I'm excited. Let's go. Come on! Oh no! Stop hitting our friend! Go! Is that gonna explode? I'm not sure. Oh god, that's my friend. Bye! Oh! Painful! God, you're rolling around as well. Get into the water! Oh god, is this helping? Okay, we're good. Anything else? Is anyone left? There's a guy up there. We're all good. Anyone else? Oh yeah, these guys. Hello! Oh 
I need some rations, dude. Nice, keep going. We're in this wagon. Somehow. Here we go. What are you gonna do without your shield, sir? There was another guy over here somewhere. Where is he? Oh no, that was our our guy. Oh god, he's gonna die soon. He's on fire. We are Ships are coming. Oh god, more people? We have like no health. Right, we should probably get out of here, shouldn't we? <laughs> oh, no, our, is this a clan that we trust? I can't tell. Are they the enemy? Who are you? Explain yourself. Hail Raventland! You reap a bloody harvest. Who are you, Gester? Name yourself. I know his face. He met with your father not long ago. I did, indeed. I am Guthorm, uncle to King Harold of the North. I speak for my nephew when there is need. Mm. This is not King Harold's land. Why does he send warriors so far south? You may ask him yourself, my lord. Thank you, uncle. And Look you at his long golden hair. <laughs> is that right? Some he looks like Prince Charming. I am. And you are standing on his land, King Harold. Land we have reclaimed with blood and steel. That I see, and I honor it. For I have not come to war against you, but for you, at the request of your father. The canny wolf. Was this the plan he spoke of? I offer my support. With my warriors, your raven clan can take Kyrtve's fortress and settle this rivalry for good. This is good news, Eivor. The wandering king will tip our fortunes. I mean, it'd be good to have some allies. Maybe we should say... We have common calls, but what's in it for Why you? Why risk your men to help us, King? Have you a stake in this fight? This war between Ketwe's clan and your own has long simmered on my southern border. I wish to see it put to rest. There would be no peace while Ketwe lives. But there is much agreement between your father and me. This That's blood true. feud runs deep, King Harold. We welcome your help, but I must lead the charge. I see. Is this a question of honor? It is. Many winters ago, Chatve broke an oath to our fathers. He betrayed a friendly peace and slaughtered many. I understand. Sigurd Jarl will lead the assault against Chatve and his clan. Give him full command of my ships and my warriors. When your victory oh, is... Oh, wow! Sigurd, Hello! Thank you, Alex Sir Stand, Harold. And we will celebrate together. Sick! Our men Thank will you. gather at Florley, near the mouth of the fjord northeast of here. Will you join us? Hold a moment. You captain our longship, Eivor. Meet us there, and we will claim Kurtvis' head for the gods. Brother, I have waited too many years for this day. When Kurtvis stands before us, give me the final blow. You will have it, Eivor. You deserve it. Thank you. I can't wait. Bastard. Alright, well, Eivor, that's cool. Give us a hand. Ardald is generous with his troops. More than I would be. I cannot fathom his game. He's either a young fool, or deceptively wise. Whatever his <laughs> reason, I have a good feeling this war is near its end. Mm-hmm. We'll put an end to it. Alright guys, on that note, I'm gonna end this episode right here, but thank you so much for watching. I really enjoyed it. And I'd love to see you in the next one. Make sure that if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Thank you for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Have a lovely day. Bye. <laughs>